Hey everybody, this is Joe from the F-Stops here, and this is Capture One Discussions, where we talk about new and interesting things regarding Capture One. A new update launched here as of May 2023, and I'm talking about some of the features in different videos, and in this one, we're gonna talk about face focus. So let's go ahead and open up Capture One. Unlike our auto dust removal video, this is not a individual tool you'll utilize during your editing process, but rather as part of the culling process. So we've taken a sequence of images and we are going to come up to the top and come to cull. Now, the first thing that's going to happen here is we are going to create our group. So let's take a second and let the groups uh, actually be created by Capture One. All right, so Capture One has finished creating groups. We know we've got our group overview, which allows us to change how similar things need to be in order to be grouped together. And our groups are shown over here with the number of images within a group uh, listed at the top left. What we're looking at is the face focus settings. It's now inside of the calling menu right there. And we can turn on the view with this icon at the top right there, which brings in this bar. Inside of here, we have zoom level, which allows us to zoom back 50% uh, view in, 100% or 200. Now, I don't think these are all that useful because as we'll see here, it does not necessarily center what I'm looking at. So this 200% view might be zoomed in a lot, but it doesn't give me usable information. What's really useful is limit to face, just like that, which immediately uses AI to find the face and center it so I can check focus. But more importantly, limit to eye. The last option is the most useful. As I go through a sequence of images, it's going to show me the eye at the top left so that I can double check focus. Now, we're gonna combine this with our filtering tool. And what we want to do when we filter in the culling section is filter by rating for things that have no rating right there. This means that we can come in and select the first image within a group. And what we're going to do is rate it. So if I rate this, let's say four stars, I can double check that's four stars by looking at the overall pose and that the eyeball's in focus there. When I rate this four stars, it rates it, and then, because of my filtering, drops it out from my bottom view. And in this way, I can look at a sequence of images, and I can immediately start rating these as exactly what I would calculate them for, Think, you know, if I like them or don't like them. And that will give me the eyeball to double check. Sometimes, you go fast enough that the AI hasn't found the eye. You saw that have a little bit of a pause there. But this makes the culling feature even more useful for being able to double check the images and see what you like about them and be able to rate them, which for me is really important because I use ratings as a way of filtering images all the time. Anyway, that's the new face focus feature in Capture One and I think it works really well. I'm really glad about this and I will be utilizing this and it will get me using the culling feature more often. All right, thanks for joining me today. See you next time.